shelf. And he says, what was on that shelf? And I went down the list of things that could possibly have been on that shelf. You have a computer closet, I'm sure. Yeah. You have a shelf next to you and you throw shit off. You use printer cartridges and some uh, paper for photos and things of that nature. And I went down the list, blah, 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 things in my pockets and, um, and, and you know, my, my rechargeable batteries. And he says, oh, oh, we'll probably never know, but this must have looked like the underside of a broiler in your oven when you're doing steak. Wow. Just alive. So this is my front hall. It filled with smoke and, and, and hot gases. And it filled up, although it was, they were running up the stairwell, it still filled up enough to toast my stair soffit and just cook the wall and the plaster. You can see some of what's going on in the plaster. Not all of the plaster looks like this at different temperatures. This here has different is a, an opportunity to educate the public on what it takes to get through a fire loss, what it takes to get through a fire loss in a historic home, and how the historic home goes together. Right. So that's that's what we want to do. That's a thought, anyway.